Let me show you the very basic Boolean operations in Blender and I'm going to show you first in vanilla, then I'm going to show you how it's done properly, okay? Now, before you do anything, go here to edit and preferences and what you want to do is you want to enable bool tool add-on and that's only if you're not using hard ops and box cutter, okay? So if you're using vanilla Blender, you want to allow that extension, okay? So you want to go here to extensions, allow online access and just type here bool tool, all right? And you want to enable this this one here, okay? So install and boom, right, you're done. Save preferences, you're good to go. Now what it will do, it will allow you to use shortcuts with Boolean operations, which is going to make it way less painful than in vanilla, pure vanilla blender, okay? It's still vanilla blender, but it was extension. So anyway, what you want to do is you want to add a cube, so shift I and add a cube, right? And now we need to cut this cube with another object. But before I do that, let me just enable something called cavity so we can see these edges a little bit better. Okay, so go here to viewport shading, click on this uh, cavity option here, which is, what the hell is it here? And you see, we're gonna get this beautiful highlight so we can see the edges a bit better, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a cutter. So Shift D can duplicate this cube and you can move it somewhere here on the X axis. So Shift D and X. Let's move it up so uh, G, Z, G, Y, and, you know, S to scale it. And we have our cutter, okay? So now the very basic Boolean operation is going to be the difference Boolean, okay? So what you want to do, you want to select the cube, you want to cut with, you want to shift, select the cube, you want to cut, and then press Ctrl minus on a on the numpad. Now, if you don't have a numpad on your keyboard, get yourself a proper keyboard. And if you can't do that, go to input and emulate numpad, okay? And save press, right? So you can use keys on the top of a keyboard to emulate numbers, right? So again, Ctrl minus, it's going to create a Boolean operation. Now, when you go here and select this cube you were cutting, right? So your model, and go to this wrench, you will see modifiers, okay? You will see a Boolean modifier set to difference, which means we subtracted the uh, uh, the shape from this main main cube, right? So we use that cutter to cut this piece out here, right? So I can grab this cutter and I can move it wherever I want. Now the bool tool extension is going to do a few things, okay? First of all, it's going to convert the mesh into a wire, which is really useful because you can see through it. Secondly, you're going to create a collection called Boolean cutters, which is really cool. And it's going to organize our cutters into that collection. You see we have a new collection here, right? And then it's going to parent the cutter to the cube. It means that this cube is going to be traveling, scaling, rotating with the main shape. You see this line here? That's a parenting line. So now this origin point is dot here and the origin point on the cube are parented, which means if I grab this cube, I was cutting and move it. You see the, um, the cutter moves, rotates, scales, etc. with it. That's a parenting line. That's really convenient because it's not only organizing our cutters, but also parenting them to the mesh so you can transform them, deform them, whatever. And it's going to travel with it, okay? So now, in addition to this, this is a modifier, which means it's live. So it's procedural. So we haven't applied this Boolean to the mesh yet. So if I go to edit mode, so press tab, we will see the entire mesh of that cube still intact in edit mode. So don't get confused, okay? This Boolean isn't applied yet, which is why you can still see this vert, okay? So the cube here is intact. Now, when I apply this Boolean, so go here to apply, you have to be in object mode to apply Booleans, by the way. And I'm going to go to edit mode, you see now my cube is cut, okay? So this cut now is actually a reality, okay? It became a mesh, right? So you can, you know, I grab this cube and it's going to be cut physically cut, right? So control Z to go back. And now let's talk about different modifiers. You can switch from difference to union, which is going to combine these two together, or intersect, which is going to be an intersection between these two, right? Now there's one more, um, one more Boolean that's not listed in here. And it's going to be a slice Boolean. It's a combination of difference and intersect boolean. So let me show you the uh, slash boolean. So let's grab this cube and shift D and move it in here. Now we need to remove this modifier because you see this modifier at the moment is dead. It doesn't do anything since this shape, right? Is not in here, but in here. Okay. 
So these two cubes now share the same modifier. So if I, for example, grab this cube and went to face mode, so press 3, and extended it, I can still cut this cube because this cube has a life modifier on it. The moment I remove this modifier, this cut will disappear. See how it works? Cool. So watch this. I'm going to remove this modifier here, right? I'm going to grab this cube and shift the Y and move it in here. So I'm going to have a duplicated cutter. Shift, select this mesh, and then press Ctrl forward slash on the keyboard. That will create a slash modifier, a slice modifier, which is going to be using both cubes and applying modifiers to both cubes. So check this out. This cube is going to have a difference modifier, which means when I'm going to apply this modifier, I'm going to get the same effect as here, right? So watch, see what I mean? So that's one. Here, this cube is going to have an intersect modifier. So this cube is an intersection boolean between these two. So what this slash boolean does, it creates a difference modifier and intersection modifier and splits this mesh into two. Okay, so these are two um, separate meshes now, right? So now if you want to apply this, okay, you want to apply this one, so the intersect, and you want to also apply the difference boolean. And now you got a slice here in the middle of this mesh and they still parent it, which is really cool, okay? So these are the very basic operations that you can run in Blender. Now, in addition to these two, you can also run shortcuts with the union modifier by simply shift selecting the mesh and pressing Ctrl plus on a keyboard. So that would be the very basics, right? Now, let me show you something cool that you can do with Boolean. So it's gonna help you understand how this all works, okay? So let's shift D this and move it somewhere here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a um, difference boolean. So shift select this cube, control minus, right? Now I'm going to go to side view here by pressing alt and middle, mo middle mouse button. I'm going to scale my cube and move it somewhere here and G, X and move it into the mesh, okay? So now check this out. Let's say that I wanted to duplicate this boolean and create, for example, a shape on this side of the cube that would follow the same size. So basically, as if I took this cube and shift D and Y and moved it in here and cut this cube again, but I want to use one Boolean, right? So what you can do is you can select this Boolean, go to edit mode, select the face of this Boolean. So press three for faces, select the face, right? Shift D that face, which means you're duplicating the face. Press Y to move it in here, and then watch, they're going to be connected. There's going to be one mesh, and it's going to be running one Boolean modifier. Now press E to extrude it, and you can actually extrude it like this. And then let's say, go to two for edges, grab this edge, G, Y, and, you know, do something like this. You can even hold control. So let's go to side view, G, uh, G, Y, hold control, and snap it somewhere here. One more time. G, Y, hold control and snap it. And then you're gonna create this kind of a shape here, you see that? So you can use one Boolean, one Boolean, and duplicate mesh from that Boolean in edit mode to place it on other parts of your mesh. So if I select everything with A, Shift D and Z, I can move this down and repeat that entire shape on the bottom, okay? This is really useful when you create kind of cuts on the mesh on the hard surface. It's a really cool technique you can use, okay? Another thing you can do, you can adjust your booleans and you can add elements to them or change them, right? So for example, you go to edit mode, select the edge, control B for bevel, you can bevel chamfer this and you can create manual bevels for your booleans and it's gonna reflect in the mesh. Another thing you can do, which is really useful for creating cuts in difficult meshes, you can project the geometry from your boolean onto the mesh, right? So shift A, let's grab a cylinder, okay? And I'm going to shift D, Z and scale this. And I'm going to shift select this mesh and control minus, right? So create a boolean operation and drop it down. Now watch this. If I went here and created a, a loop, so press Ctrl R to create a loop in edit mode and drop it down here, right? This loop, when I apply this Boolean, is gonna be projected onto the main mesh. So watch. If I select this mesh, at the moment it doesn't have any loop in here, right? 
watch this go to go to object mode apply the modifier go to edit mode and boom there's your edge so when you need to project edges onto your mesh with your boolean you can do that and this is very useful for for example uh, running booleans on sub d mesh where you need securing edges for running your sub d surface uh, on your mesh okay next thing you need to remember is how to stack modifiers when you're going to be working with boolean bevels and and all that okay so it's very basics of hard surface modeling by the way if you want to learn all the tricks and you know all the basic stuff for hard surface modeling the menus the workflow the modeling workflow rendering workflow grab our course the hard surface jumpstart course 2.0 which is fantastic it will teach you everything you need to know to get started with blenders all the basics and the foundations in less than three hours so it's a fantastic course we have over hundred thousand students in this course and they absolutely love it so go ahead click the link in the video description and grab it it's brilliant if you have a mesh like this you see it's faceted right so the mesh is you know it's not smooth like this cube here but has like a clear fa you know uh, faces visible on the mesh that's because it's shaded flat not shaded smooth so if you right click on the mesh you can see here you can shade it flat or you can um, you can shade it smooth, right? So if I shade it smooth, I'm going to get this. And the reason why we get this blob is because Blender now doesn't know which angles or which edges should be shaded as sharp. So a better way of doing this would be going here and shade auto smooth. This is going to add a modifier here in your stack. And it's going to smooth all the angles above 30 degrees as sharp and below as smooth. So now the same i would suggest you do with the modifier okay it's it's a good practice to have shade auto smooth on the modifier as well uh, but more importantly you have to have it in the mesh now if you're going to add a bevel to this mesh right so i'm gonna go here and i'm going to go to generate and i'm gonna go to bevel right and i'm going to increase the number of segments to three and i'm going to change the size of it right to something smaller and you see that our bevel is applied. However, we still have a problem with shading in here. And also on the top, you see it's kind of like wobbly. It's not really flat. So what we need to do is add one more modifier, which is going to play really nicely with smooth by angle. And that one's called weighted normal modifier. Okay. Both modifiers are essential when you're working with, you know, angon based Boolean based mesh and you create hard surface models. Otherwise you're gonna have problems with your mesh like this, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna go back to normals and add this one. And this is really important, okay? So pay attention. This modifier should be below smooth by angle modifier at all times. And none of these should be applied. Now by default, for some weird reason, Blender is actually pinning this smooth by angle. So unpin this nonsense and do this, okay? That's a correct modifier stack for uh, for this setup so this would be the very basics of hard surface modeling using booleans now let me show you why you want to use hard ops and box cutter when you are modeling it simply makes things a bit easier now i have a little bit of a different color scheme here going on in this blender if you want to learn how to set your blender to similar colors then watch the video i have it on my channel uh, but uh, what I want to show you here is how easy it is to work with, with add-ons, all right? So if I'm going to add a cube right now here to my to my scene and I'm going to activate the box cutter, then I can cut this mesh really easily with my box cutter tools. And by default, I'm going to be able to cut it with, you know, just a cube. So all I need to do is just, you know, draw a shape and I'm good to go, right? And there are so many things you can do with this shape. For example, I can draw a shape and press B for bevel. I can press Q for quad bevel. I can press Shift T to taper it, right? I can press uh, T to solidify it. And uh, by default, it's gonna be, you know, uh, a different Boolean, but I can change it easily to a different type of Boolean. So if I apply this here, I can just, you know, go to Q and uh, I can go to Shift Bool and I can scroll through different types of Booleans. In addition to the four Booleans I showed you in Blender Vanilla, you can very easily create other booleans that are really a headache in vanilla blend like for example at the inset boolean which is this one so just gonna go to x you know uh, press x three times press t and i can create this kind of a you know effect here which is really cool right kind of like a panning effect 
So you can do a lot of stuff. You can also snap your booleans very easy to your mesh. So if you have, for example, a cube and you enable snapping here, you can hold control and you'll see, for example, if I wanted to run the circle dead in the middle, I can just simply draw it off of this dot and, you know, I don't know, run something like this, press Shift T to taper it, press B for a bevel, and, you know, then my, that's my bevel. It's I mean, that's my boolean. It's really easy and quick and allows you to model much faster and it's just much more fun. The same thing here on the, on the side, if you're working in orthographic view, you can go to Shift V menu and align your cuts to orthographic view and you're going to be able to, you know, cut your stuff in perfect orthographic alignment which is really awesome and it's just like I said it's very quick okay and you have a tremendous amount of settings for your booleans you also have handgun booleans which don't exist in in blender these are very useful for example for running stuff like knife operations so I can either cut this or press k to switch it to knife and slice it and then I have this kind of a you know cut running through my mesh the same thing with for example running bevels on my uh, knife which is very difficult to do in vanilla blender you can just simply press b for a bevel and you know and you're gonna have a beveled cut on your mesh which is really cool because you can then do you know stuff like this go to alt e and use for example punch it with machine uh, machine tools and create shapes like that which is really cool so you know there's there's just a lot of stuff you can do very easily with add-ons and box cutter works fantastically with uh with hard ups these two add-ons are a powerhouse and uh, I'm using them for six, over six years, probably close to seven now, and it is brilliant. I don't really imagine myself working without them. So anyway, if you need help fixing your hard surface modeling issues fast with one-to-one -one support, weekly coaching calls, and full access to all of our Blender and Plasticity courses, then keep watching. Tell me if this sounds familiar. You cannot model anything without a tutorial. Your shading, bevels and booleans break and no matter how many tutorials you watch, you are not improving. If this is you, then join our Hard Surface Academy. You get lifetime access to all of our courses, six months of private one-to-one -one support with Josh and I, plus weekly coaching calls where we fix your issues in real time. If you want personal guidance and modeling workflow that actually works, click the link below and learn more about the program. Anyway, that's it for the basics of Booleans for Blender. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.